is outdoor life. Come with me on my epic three year bow hunting journey to shoot the Australian red deer stag. I started going bush with my dad hunting red deer when I was just 10 years old. My first season deer hunting was full of great stalks, but no real good opportunities. <coughs> Red deer were given to Queensland by Queen Victoria in the late 1800s. Today there is a healthy population in South East Queensland. What just happened in there? What was that all about? Well, we just, we just called up um, two, well one stag and a spiker. The spiker went off that way. The stag came really slow, close but it smelled us. <laughs> it stunk. But it was still really cool, but so he ran up around there, maybe went back to his girls. I and also, I just, so we were both happy, and I just felt really happy, so. So how close did we get to the spiker? Um, to the spiker, about 36 yards. And what about the stag? 40 or 40, close. something like that? Yeah. Yeah. How far, how close we got to get them to? We really need to get them to 15 or yeah. less. Yeah, that's going to make us... Learn to hunt, isn't it? Yeah. Good job. Oh, if you look around, it's easy to see why I love hunting. Last year, Queensland was really hot and dry, so the deer hardly water at all, which made it really hard. I hunted a whole lot of new and interesting country. We saw some cool stags, but I was only hunting with a 28 pound bow, so we couldn't get close enough. So we just came over here through some wattle trees and when we got to about over there um, there was a really big stag that kept on roaring and roaring and we tried to get him to come but but he but it was too much wattle trees so we just we didn't do it and <laughs> he's still roaring right now just One morning when we were hunting, we saw a beautiful double four stag. I tried my best, but it just wasn't going to happen. So we just came here and we walked up a bit and then we roared with the roarer and we heard a really, really loud roar. We thought it was only 10 yards away, but it was like 200 or 300. It was so annoying. So we walked all the way up here and then we walked all through there trying to find the stag and we did not find any trace of him. Oh, so annoying. And it was a double four and it was so beautiful. <laughs> Red deer are one of my favourite animals to hunt. And when they look at you and roar, oh man, my heart races.
On the last morning hunt last year, while Mum and I were having a break, we spotted a stag on the opposite ridge. I was tired from a big morning's hunt, but seeing the stag got the adrenaline pumping, and we started a long stalk. The stag was lying down in some gum trees with thick cover, and we tried to see him, but he saw us before we saw him. And you know the rest of the story. New gear, new bow. Now I've got an impulse 31, and I've been practicing hard, so now I can draw 40 pounds. This year, the rut started early, and on the first hunt, we hadn't even been hunting for 30 minutes, and then my dad heard a stag roar. So, the hunt was on. We positioned ourselves. Then, the stag walked right in front of me, and started bashing up a bush, so dad did two hind calls. Then, it started to walk straight at me. Oh man, I could feel my heart pumping through my face. The stag walked in at 15 yards. Oh, I used the wrong pin. So, this um, um, my dad heard a deer roaring in my Personally, I thought it was a cow, so I was wrong. And we walked around here and down this hill a bit. And then he was just over there and he started to walk over. And he kept on walking until he stopped. And he was looking at us. And it was really scary because he kept on looking and looking and looking. And my heart was just like really freaking out. But I drew and I shot, and I thought it was about 15 yards. And and whenever the top, it's really annoying. How hard is it to shoot over the top of a, of a, of a target the size of a deer at 15 yards? I will not live that off for my whole entire life. What, what pin were you using? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so sucks. Now, the roar got serious. There were stags roaring everywhere. I can hear it. And it's so cool. It sounds like it's just about in that gully. It looks so <sighs> Dad makes me open all the gates. This morning was special. I have never heard so many stags roar at once. We even saw fellow deer stags. After a long stalk on her hands and knees, we got within a hundred yards of a stag and a bunch of hinds. Three years of hard work was about to pay off. The stag and his hinds fed all around us and they didn't see us once. Finally, the stag came within shooting range. Straight after the shot, I fell to pieces. I finally shot my very first stag. Dad was just a bit happy. Really fun, and 
So when I shot him, I shot him at 25 yards, a little far back, but still a complete pass through thanks to Rad Broadheads. And he ran all the way down here, only about 80 yards really, and then dead. Well, Amber, that's awesome. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, man, the adrenaline was crazy. I was like crying at the end. I'm like, I'm so happy. Oh, man. How long have you been hunting deer for? <laughs> Three years. You earned one, didn't you? Oh, yes. I'm so happy. Isn't he beautiful? Oh, he's so heavy, but he's so cool. That's a great job, darling. Congratulations. <laughs> You're awesome. Oh, man. Who would have thought a 12-year-old girl with just a 40-pound bow could take on such an amazing animal? I'd like to thank Elite, Toowoomba Archery Supplies, and Rad Broadheads for their amazing support.